Hi everyone, so it's a bit late, but I hope that you do kind of review this. I'll try and keep it short. Um, so this is just a tutorial to show you how to map um, a Voronoi to a surface, which uh, is um, 2D, I think. Um, so uh, just as a pointer for the image sampler, um, it's actually a mesh. So to just turn it, um, just to for an example, <laughs> I'm actually going uh, Jennifer Addison here. <laughs> um, yeah, so from it's actually a mesh, um, which will make it very hard for you to do the rest of the um, top. So what you can do um, to get a surface instead is to get a surface from from points. Um, so that component there. Um, it says surf grid, but it's actually surface from points. Um, so just to show you. Uh, and then um, you just kind of get the U value that he's given us from the tutorial. And that's your U value there. And then the new to point. Um, so you'll get this. Um, the surface could not be fitted, but if you just flatten this, um, flatten the list of points, you should be able to create a surface. Um, and then, so you just bake that. So I've baked it over here. Um, you'll probably use a different thing. So let me just go to a new uh, file. Okay, so to map a Voronoi. Um, First, you just gotta make an actual um, surface that will be kind of like the source surface. Um, sorry, let me just explain that um, in terms of like mapping. So when you use map to surface, the map to surface component, you've got um, an input for your curves. So the items in, in di which in this case would be the Voronoi cells that we're gonna put on um, a source surface. So what that kind of is, is that it's kind of like a base plane or like the base at which like these curves are on top. So whatever curves are on top of like this surface, this source surface, that's what's going to be mapped onto your target surface, which are all of these, uh, these three surfaces that we've got. Um, and so I'll just show you what I mean. So if I just like draw maybe random curves on top of this surface and I'll draw one outside. Um, so if I set these curves, all of these curves, um, what will happen is the one outside won't actually appear. Um, so I'll just source all these. So I'll source all so like our source surface. So I'll just name that source, just so that you guys don't get confused. Um, this is a surface. Oh, no. oh, stop selecting that. Okay. Okay. Um, so this surface here is the one for the attractor points. Um, this one is for so I have to multiple surfaces. Um, that one is for the um, graph mapper surface um, without the projection, so it's just the the actual ISO surfaces. Um, and then this one is for the image sampler. So I'll just go points. Um, graph mapper. Um, Just to put it onto the um, attractor point one. So if I just put this source surface here, and I put this one. So what's happening here is that it is trying to map that last one, but it's it's going out of the page, and 
all of these curves, because they're going like past this source surface, it's just coming up. And the reason why it's also curving is because our target surface is curving. Um, if I put that on the graph number one, so that's what it's doing there, and then this one. So if I just like delete that, it should just be fine. Like that'll come up there. Um, yeah. So that's what I mean by like the curves, the source. So anything we have to do with the point source. The good thing about the Voronoi mapping is that we already have our source surface here. Um, when we do it a bit later. Um, so just to do the Voronoi, so you would do populate two D or populate geometry if you've got a 3D kind of surface um, that moves. So I'll just leave that to do its 100. But you can set a boundary if you want. Um, not necessary, but I can show you how to do it. Um, so first you would like deconstruct take these edges here um, and then so then you would only have one polygon curve and just that edge there and then you can just put that onto the world my map so you will effectively cut that out um, not necessary but just thought that I might show you um, Another way you could do that as well, um, if you're feeling uh, but if you get the edges, the top one should give us the naked edges, so the edges outside. Um, and then, like, we don't really have any interior edges. Um, I mean, like, if we had the worry now, then maybe, but this is just the, the square surface. Um, so I would also do that on join, and it would also give me the same effect. Um, once again, not necessary, but there are two ways to do this, and I thought that people would just show you that if that sounds weird, and then you just connect that to your curves. And then if we go back to this one, and just have this, then you have the mapped border line. So uh, you can do that for all of the other ones. Um, let's just copy everything else. Just to hide all these surfaces. You can hide them and then if you need them later just um, type show and show everything you hid, um, which would be effective, especially if you're Rhino, um, like if your Rhino program is just like showing way too many things and you just want to kind of remove things so that you don't get confused. Um, and if I copy this one across as well, um, just do that graph and everything, and post it here. Okay, um, so I left the graph mapper for last because what actually happens is because um, this, let me show it with a panel, let me, uh, because this one is a flattened list, what's it say, what's um, map, uh, map the surface is doing um, is that it's just taking the first surface and then it's just separating all of these Voronoi cells and just spreading it across. So what you actually need to do is to graph the map, uh, graph the list, sorry, so that it would just give you individual lists. So you can either just do graph here or do graph here doesn't really matter, or you can even just use the graph feature, 
um, it'll only matter later if you're inputting this surface to a lot of other things um, or you're inputting other things like multiple things to this part of the file um, yeah like the location of the graph but you could also do like graph tree component um, and then you'd get this yeah so I hope this helps um, I'm still actually trying to figure out the vector fields um, it's really hard I tried to download the Cer uh, Cerasi, Cerasi pavilion, um, Biopin pavilion, um, to hopefully help with the vector field. So if I manage to get that done, I will also send that to you guys. Um, yeah, I hope this helps.